Good morning, good morning out there. How is everyone today? I am personally back to work today. Got a full day of hair cutting and styling today. Just a second, get these shared. How is everyone today? Everybody good? I think I'm going to do CC cream today. I am good. It's Friday for most of you. Oh, I get out of the shower every time and I'm bloodshot. Looks like I went on a bender last night. No comments, people. So, anyway, I am Gary, go to work. And I haven't talked much about our bronzers, bronzers lately or like how many people out there love bronzer. I mean, seriously, do you love bronzer? I'm a huge fan myself, especially when I don't want to wear foundation. Huge fan. If you're jumping on this morning, hi, Dawn. How's life in Texas, honey? Um, I am <laughs> I love CC cream. Anyway, we have been ballparking it. Yeah, I bet. I know we're going to be cooking this weekend, probably in the hundreds. Um, I was supposed to hit 100, I think, tomorrow, 99 today. I will be in the air conditioning most of the day. And then we have a 60th birthday party to go to. And it'll be in a beer garden, of course, which is not air conditioned. But at least you're not in direct sunlight, right? So, um, I'm getting used to it. I've been working on the deck. I'm proud to say I got my uh, sealant done, uh, stained sealant. I got a mess to clean up, but um, I've got uh, that complete. And now I just got to go repaint the um, patio downstairs because sealant, as you know, is runny and it went everywhere. But anyway, I am um, getting ready to go to work. I got a few errands to run before work. I'm gonna put a little eye primer on here for the day since I'm not just going to work. Um, if you're that person that has dark circles or you get like, um, like I get the purple on the inside of the eye here and you can take that eye primer and it'll blend right in with your skin tone and it will take care of that. See, it takes it right off. I can run it down if I want. Um, anyway, uh, I'm so ready to have my outside ready to go. And then, of course, now it's getting blistering hot out. But we got lucky at the ballpark last night. It was breezy. Oh, my God. It was awesome. We had shade and a really cute ball game with these little bitty seven, eight-year-olds. And... Um, watching them hit that ball with a machine and be so excited just to field a ball and catch a ball. And um, it was great. But anyway, but I'm ready for summer. I'm ready to have my summer to just come home and have, you know, normal chores to do and relax go out on the deck with a glass of wine or iced tea. Even right now, wine just doesn't even sound appealing, not with the um, weather the way it is. Um, uh, just a cold glass of iced tea would be perfect. But see, I'm just using the primer today on my eyes. It just brightens them up. But um, I don't know if you guys noticed or saw that uh, my company has come out with 
Well, they've had a palette out now with red, white, and blue. USA, USA. And it is super cute. You could do face art with it. You could, um, because, you know, our pigments are super, super strong. Or not strong, bright. Wrong, I always use the wrong words. So, um, I... um, Got word yesterday they've added the green mascara, which as y'all know is a vegan mascara. And they've cut a deal on it, you know, to buy to get the bundle. So I thought that was awesome. So today I'm gonna use the green mascara. And um, what I find with it is it's lightweight, easy to apply. It stays on me. I don't know about how it works for anyone else, but it stays on me. Eyebrows aren't looking good today. Sometimes I swear it's the way I sleep, but I had a shower, wet them down, so you'd think they'd lay right. But anybody got any huge 4th of July plans? Anyone? Anyway, I'm, I'm so excited that we're going to have fireworks again this year. This weekend's our Betsy Ann picnic. Um, for those of you not around here, we have this soup every year that people come from all over to get called Burgoo, B-U-R-G-O-O. If you're not familiar with it, it's basically like a vegetable soup, but it's supposed to have be made with wild game. I don't know the recipe. All I know is that for a long time there, my mom would take one of them huge bulk size pickle jars and go pick up a gallon of burgoo for us for dinner. And then, you know, as you get older, people joke around and they start calling it roadkill stew, um, which it's not roadkill. God help me. It's not roadkill stew, but um, it is... Um, from what I've been told, very tasty. I haven't had it in a long time. Um, they make it, make it people. They don't buy it. They make it every year. And this year, Jer's going to work in the food stand for it because they will be busy. And if you've never been to the Brighton Picnic and you live somewhere in the vicinity, come on over. They'll have cat, I don't know about catfish, but they'll have fritters. They'll have sam fish sandwiches. Um, in another building, they separate that, thank God, because I have the spouse that's allergic to fish, but they will have, um, usually have, let's put it that way. They have pork chop sandwiches, um, twist, tater twists, which are deadly, um, when you're trying to lose weight, uh, or watch what you eat. There's a potato they have twisted out in a machine and then they're spiraled and then they deep fry them. So, and then they'll have, usually they have pork steaks and burgoo, burgers. You'll have the normal carnival food also. And of course our fresh squeezed lemonade usually comes from our school raising money. So we got that. It's going to be a hot one. But we'll be up there tomorrow night. What I should have done was got a booth and take my took my 31 and stuff up there. I got a ton of product. I'm going to do a outdoor event to sell it off. You know, make room for new, right? Make room for new. So this is the green mascara, guys. I always use a primer, waiting for pharmacy to announce a primer. But anyway, how hot is it where you're at? No joke, how hot is it? I am predicting I leave this house and it's 80 degrees this morning. I've got some errands to run. I have to go see somebody in Piasol, and I got to go to the post office, and 
I got to make sure I don't forget anything I need to take with me today. I'm good at that, forgetting all of that. I'm bumming because the grandbabies won't be here this weekend for the carnival. So they'll be at their dad's. So we'll miss them. We'll miss them, miss them, miss them. So um, what was I going to do? I'm going to put on a blush and then we're going to talk about this new bronzer. I think I talked about it once before. Now that I think about it, I'm going to use a little peach bite on my cheeks. Like I said, nothing extraordinary. 79 now, yikes. But you guys get, you get the dry heat down there, right, Dawn? It's dry? Or is there any humidity? You're, are you closer to the water? Me and geography aren't friends. Okay, so, the, so that was the, this palette everyone needs to carry around with them because if you don't want to put a face on or you need to touch up, you've got your bronzer, you've got your highlighter, and you've got your blush that can also be used on your eyes. Okay, so we got that we're going for us, right? But um, anyway, so bronzers. I think I showed it to you guys last time. It doesn't have a ton of sparkle. That was a discussion we had at work. Usually bronzers have quite a bit of sparkle in them. This has very little sparkle. And I love the shade. Oh, I bet, yeah. We haven't had rain. I mean, it's just been dry. Like, go to the ball games and eat dust all evening because you know, I'm taking the bronzer and using it as my shadower. And I'm just putting it on a blush brush. I'm gonna put it on my forehead. And these are limited editions, guys, and we've got also a darker bronzer for the more maybe olive skin or ethnic uh, complexions. We do have a darker bronzer for that. But me, once the tan is good and in for the summer, I will um, start wearing this instead of even wearing um, foundation. So that was another thing I was going to talk about. And as I've told you guys before, I'm everywhere when I talk things. But summer and foundations, are you one to wear it all the time? Or are you one to wear it maybe out, a wedding, and stuff in the summer months? Because it always feels heavy on your face. Um, once I get a good enough tan, but mind you, the older I get, the more sun damage I have. Um... I won't even wear foundation. I will just wear bronzer. And it's an awesome thing to have, to just have bronzer. And you can just put it on in the morning where you need it and put on your eyes and you're set for the day. You know, you, you don't have to worry. Um, you can take it with you and you can reapply. And like you carry a lipstick with you or even like some, just carry your lip conditioner with you. Um, bronzers are there to suntan the skin, basically, to give this, the skin a glow. And they're amazing. And we also got in, I haven't talked about this, we got in the liquid. This is um, Bronzing Shimmer. I have not messed with this yet. Um, let's see. Thing is, is see, it's glittery, and I got it so I could show people it so like some i hear some talk about they mix it in with their lotions but see it just kind of blends right into the skin but it does cause a shimmer which you can't see on me for some reason maybe when i go outside let's do it on the tan side this is the tan side but it's more of a it's liquid and I know some by, bought the old one. So I'm gonna blend it in here real good. And see, you can't hardly see it, but I bet out in the sun, you get a nice, a nice glow to your skin um, with a little bit of shimmer. Um, some would wear it all through here if they're going out at night. Brides are known for wearing it for their weddings, things like that. So, um, cool. I mean, really cool. Um, 
I think this bad boy is going to go to work with me. Um, but anyway, so bronzers are fantastic to have in the summer months. Can you tell? Yeah, you see a little bit of a difference. Not much. But anyway, it's made to just kind of give you a, a shimmery glow. Okay, it's not to add a lot of color. It's just to add a shimmery glow to your skin. So all my lipstick is in the car. So not in the car, it's in my bag in the other room. So I'll put that on in a little bit and then uh, take a picture. But um, bronzers are something that I think need to be part of your daily thing. Like my four for the day would be mascara, bronzer, a lip color, and um, mas mascara, bronzer, a lip color, and my eyebrow mascara. I've gotten to where I won't go without eyebrow mascara. So um, it works beautifully on your, on your eyebrows if you want that more natural look and not that painted on, drawn on look. So some love that look. I don't like it <clears throat> on me. On some people, it looks amazing and since some it doesn't look good at all. That would be me. So um, anyway, uh, I am going to get off here and press on with my work day. And uh, um, again, let me know if you like bronzers. Um, we have the glow. We have the two shades of bronzer. Um, you have bronzers in the Peach Bite palette. You have a bronzer in our highlighting palette, um, which is a well-known product as well. Um, and you'd be all set <clears throat> for the summer. And, of course, you need calendula oil to go with your, to go with your summer. Um, and a highlight stick would be good <clears throat> to get under them eyeballs. I'm not going to do that today. So, uh, but anyway, so you've got bronzer today. We talked about that. And um, I can't remember what the other thing was. But I hope everybody has a blessed weekend. I will probably come back on here maybe tomorrow um, and talk. Okay. So blessed day, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye.